Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. I thank you so so much for being here today. Today we are going to have a wonderful time together. Hi, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Today I am going to teach you how to do the onion, ginger, garlic paste. And this paste has onion, ginger, garlic, and uh, about two tomatoes. So what I did is I have six onion. You can do six or seven onion because this is we are doing for a week. So we have to do like six or seven onions and then two big bulbs of garlic and ginger about four to five inches long and very thick piece of ginger so i'm going to chop and cut and dice the onion and ginger and garlic i'm just going to take out the skin and then grate it in a grater so first i'm going to start with a tablespoon of oil in the pan and then to that we're going to add one teaspoon of cumin seed and a pinch of asopodida and this one is required for every food cooking because this one eliminates gas so we're going to add this and cook and then we'll add all the onion ginger you can first add the onions and then you can do your ginger and garlic or you can cut them all together and add it doesn't matter which order you do it so i have added about seven onions peel and cut into small pieces and to that i put some salt and turmeric and i'm going to cover this one and cook it for 10 minutes so this will soften the onion now i have two big bulbs of garlic and about four inches long and thick ginger i'll peel and cut and take out all the skin and then grate them finely in a grater so now i have the garlic and ginger ready and the onions been cooking for 10 minutes so I'm going to add all this to the onion this is the garlic and the ginger chopped and grated and skin so now I'm going to let this one mixture cook for another 10 minutes cover it up and when the low heat cook it for 10 minutes until everything is really soft now that everything is soft and cooked and as you can see the one teaspoon oil that i put is is releasing the oil because everything is sauteed now and cooked and to this one i'm going to add my two large tomato puree so you can take two large tomato and put it in some boiling water then take out the skin and just put it in the blender and make it a smooth puree and I'm going to add that one to this mixture and if you don't like tomatoes you can skip this part totally but if you like it you can add tomato puree. you can use tomato paste or you can use canned tomato any kind of tomato will do it just make sure you run it through your blender so it's nice a smooth texture so now I'm going to let this one cook for 10 minutes so everything is thoroughly cooked and at this point you can add lots of spices whatever you want you can remember at the beginning we added the salt and the turmeric so now we can add some vegetable masala or chicken masala whatever is the spices you wish and the main reason for adding the spices just to make it look spicy and hot so you can add whatever you wish and then I'll let it cook for another 5-10 minutes until everything is 
coming down and shrinking to a bowl like we're just trying to get rid of all the water and make it dry and after all the spices are added then you can add some cilantro leaves as well and then after this you have to cool it six to seven hours until this is totally cool so now you see this is ready and i have added some cilantro leaves as well now it doesn't matter how much longer i cook it will keep releasing oil now it's just this one tablespoon oil i added because this is thoroughly cooked now turn off the oven and let it sit there and get totally cool and once it's cool then we can make small ziploc bags or containers and fill it up whatever we use for a week or day and keep it in this so if you make a small small ziploc bags and just keep it for days so you can make like with this you can make like five ziploc bags or seven ziploc bags once it is totally cool and then keep it in your freezer and whenever you cook you can take it out and cook with that so this is our final outcome it will shrink down to a bowl but this is concentrated so for your cooking you'll be using one or two tablespoon for each item hi in today's video i'm going to show you what are the must have minimum spices for the kitchen so i have here i got spice blend this is achar ghost but uh, you can buy by any different name as long as you see it has some spices in it and no msg and no chemicals and this is another one karahi ghost the reason i picked these because i usually make sure there are no msg and chemicals and also the price is reasonable so their prices were dollar 29 in any asian store some stores do charge dollar 50. now so in your spice blend container um you should have like uh, first of all salt and turmeric these are necessary and cumin seed and asafoetida and then some spice blend like which has everything in it just check make sure there are no chemicals so what i try to do is just buy big packages of turmeric so i can use it for a long time because each vegetable you must put turmeric and just put half a teaspoon too much turmeric is not good it heats up the liver and then I have seen the turmeric pills they sell and then people are taking turmeric in water as a tea which is very very wrong way to take turmeric because turmeric really heats up the liver so we should use turmeric only in cooking and just use it to cook your vegetables so when you cook it you just put little oil and then your vegetables and then your spices and your black pepper and green chili and you cook it and you eat it and the turmeric should be one fourth to half a teaspoon for each vegetable but no more than that because turmeric is very strong powerful spice and just it's sort of like a, not only spice it's a medicine so you shouldn't use too much as it has good effect and same thing too much will have bad effect so just use very little so we can get a big turmeric package from any indian or asian stores for i think it's usually 3.99 depends on places 4.99 so and then you just put it in a glass jar and use it when you need it i usually put it in peanut containers 
empty peanut containers so you have your salt you have your turmeric which is necessary and then you have some cumin seed roasted and grounded and it's very good for digestion so just buy the package of cumin seed and then I roast it on the oven like dry roast don't put any oil or anything dry roast and then ground it so initially I use a little bit of cumin seed with this asaphorida asaphorida you need to use just a pinch and asaphorida is very good for depression or any kind of thing it really good for digestion so every disease starts from not digesting food so as the beginning of your cooking you should add a pinch of asaphorida and a little bit of cumin seed and then you have your roasted cumin to add all the way at the end of the cooking so just roast it coarse ground it and keep it and then I have some garam masala that also you can buy in a package I bought a big package so basically you have your salt and you buy turmeric and you buy cumin seed package and ground it and you buy the garam masala in a package which comes a big package about $3.99 $4.99 and garam masala has all the spice blend in it so no need to buy separate separate because separate separate will cost you a lot just buy one big package and when you use it in your vegetables just half a teaspoon don't put too much because it will heat up the body so these are just the very simple basic spices to use in your food and cumin seed is extremely extremely good and you can use uh, coriander seed too and roast the coriander and cumin together and keep it in a big bottle so this spice plan is just for example you can get any there's many many different kinds just have to make sure that there are no chemicals or MSG because you don't want to put those in your body with the spices so and you can get um, bay leaves bay leaves is very good for digestion too get bay leaves and you can add at the beginning of your cooking when you're putting your cumin seed and asaphorida add a bay leaf too they come in a big package and they are about a dollar or two dollars for a bay leaf and this is coriander seed you can get a big package two three dollars and last for a long time and you can roast it with the cumin seed in a pan just dry roast put in a very low heat in a pan cumin and coriander a little bit and then when they're roasted they're just crunchy but not burn and then you just grind them in your grinder coffee grinder and you can have mustard seed and you can grind your own mustard seed and make mustard paste for some vegetables and you can use it with hot chili pepper It'll be very tasty or you can use just the mustard seed along with your cumin seed at the beginning of the cooking and that tastes really good just a little bit oil half a teaspoon oil in the pan and sprinkle some mustard seed cumin seed and asaphorida that also gives a good taste for the food and mustard seeds really really good if you have muscle cramp i got really good result with this mustard seed and muscle cramp and then i keep some tamarind some vegetables you can add a little bit of piece of tamarind that gives a really good taste and i also make a tamarind chutney to eat along with my vegetables so and these are very few simple ingredients you can have in your kitchen and they don't cost a lot and it's just the basic and you can get away with this and you can just keep it in a small jar you don't need to have this kind of container you can just keep it in a small jar so here are the some pictures i gave for the 
spices this is whole coriander seed this is cumin seed and buy from any company this is salt buy again from any company and then this is turmeric turmeric is the must have for the kitchen and we use it daily on every item this is tamarind tamarind also brings good taste for the food and as a fodita powder which is really good for gas so you give at the beginning little bit and this is another spice blend so like that in the store you will see there are hundreds this is another one there are hundreds of so you pick one with less expensive and has most of the spices and this is another mustard and there are two kinds yellow and this black and this is the bay leaf so bay leaf you can buy a big package for a dollar or two red chili pepper that goes with everything so these are your basics hi thank you so so much for being here today i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like subscribe comment and share this video thank you may god bless you all